What's up guys? Nate Dog FPV here. Today we're going to be talking about the Matek F722 STD flight controller. So I picked this one up from a local friend, um, happened to be selling it. I've always wanted to know how high I was flying. Of course, I've never had a flight controller that actually had a barometer. Uh, and of course, this board does. So that mainly uh, is what sparked my interest. So I went ahead and picked it up from a local friend. So it comes in this packaging. Uh, Maytech throws in some uh, rubber standoffs for you, a couple of ribbon cables. Uh, of course, that's if you're going to be using it with one of the Maytech PDBs or the Maytech PDB VTX. Uh, in my case, I did not uh, use one of those PDBs, so I didn't actually use the ribbon cables. Um, so I actually put it in this quad. This is a Race Day Quads Mach 1 frame. Uh, I actually had this one built up with a SP Racing F3 flight controller. Uh, so it already had a Matek PDB in it. Uh, so basically I just pulled out the SP Racing F3 and put in the Matek uh, flight controller. So other components here, we've got Race Day Quads, 2205, 2450 KV, badass motors. We've got some Racer Star 30 amp ESCs. We've got the AKK FX2 VTX. And we've got the Runcam Micro Swift 2. Uh, for our FPV cam. So really this wasn't a bad flying quad at all. Um, again, mainly just put that board in here because it already had an SP Racing F3 so it was kind of set up uh, similar to the way it would be for the new Matek flight controller. So it was really just uh, pull the other flight controller out, pop in the new one, change a few wires around, and ready to go. So luckily I got to fly this thing today. Uh, it definitely does record altitude it was really awesome um, I did not expect 400 feet to be as high as it actually was um, so I've actually had uh, a police officer tell me that it was okay to fly as long as I stayed under 400 feet but I've always wondered how high is 400 feet actually um, you know I can't just look up in the sky and know how high that is uh, so today I actually pushed it up to 400 feet uh, of course, uh, on the Matek flight controller, it shows the altitude in meters. So I figured out that uh, 120 meters is approximately 400 feet. So I definitely pushed it that high today. Um, and again, I was really surprised at how high that actually is. Uh, it seemed like the board handled it really well. You know, I could definitely tell as I was going up and down, the altitude kept changing uh, pretty consistently. Seems like there may be a little little bit of margin of error in there but uh, overall was pretty consistent um, other things I noticed about the board right off is it seems like it's faster when I plug it into the computer it seems like it connects faster when I click through different things in beta flight it seems to run faster uh, when I'm changing things on the Lewis script you know via the QX7 it seems to respond faster so overall it seems like that F7 processing power uh, is really worth it and definitely gives it a lot more speed um, than other flight controllers like the F3s and F4s. Another great thing is you do not have to worry about the ports not having the uh, inverters. So obviously that's one of the big problems on the F4 boards is that they generally only have one UART um, with inversion and that's typically going to be the one used for SBUS. So, you know, you would connect uh, your, usually your uh, FR Sky receiver to the S-Bus pin, but then if you wanted to do telemetry, uh, you would have to do some kind of hack on your XSR maybe, or use soft serial, uh, which is what I generally use to get the telemetry working. But it was really just more of a process, you know, more of a pain than it should be. So luckily on the F7 board, uh, it had, and you can use any UART for anything you want. So, you know, it doesn't even have an S-Bus pin on the flight controller because you can use any UART. Uh, so I just connected S-Bus to uh, UART 2, connected the smart uh, audio to UART 5, and the smart port telemetry to UART 3. Set that on the ports tab in beta flight. Good to go. Lewis script's working, telemetry's working, everything's working great. Um, so that's another really cool thing about this board. 
Uh, it's a, again, the F7 boards, and that really should be any F7 board. Uh, of course, this is the first one I've tried to. But yeah, overall, super impressed with it so far. It flew really well today. Seems very responsive. Uh, again, having the altitude is just awesome. So we're going to cut to the flight footage so you can check it out. Uh, again, you'll be able to see the altitude in the upper right corner of the OSD. Uh, again, it'll be displayed in meters, but you can actually see how high I go up to the uh, 120 meter mark. Uh, and again, I try to do kind of a look around at that point so you can actually see what the view is from that high. But definitely really cool, cool flight controller and a lot of fun. All right, and we'll cut to the flight footage in three, two, one. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 